today we're going to go over how to fix an air conditioner after the dog chews on the thermostat wires. When the dog is chewing on the wires, he usually touches the wrong two together. That will blow a transformer in an attic or just the inline fuse. The proper fix is to repair the wires, then grab a transformer, a fuse, and head up to the indoor unit because you're going to replace one of those. We're going to repair these wires right here. And once they're repaired, we'll go to the attic and probably find a blown transformer or 5 amp fuse. So, I don't have enough room to just, what I'd like to do is take this wire here and just reattach it inside, but I don't have enough room to reach it. So, I'm going to have to splice, I'm going to have to be a splice no matter how I look at it. Just can't run it up this line. All right. What I like about the CLC bag. Keeps all your little fittings and everything close by. And when you strip your wire, you try not to use too small of a hole here because you don't want to scar this wire. If you put a slight scar on the wire when stripping, what can happen is it'll twist off later when you're twisting your wire nuts on. And later on you'll have a little short or... So I like to use a, a hole that's a little too big and then I'll, instead of pulling it off straight, I'll have to twist it a little bit because it's too big and that makes it just tight enough to yank it off and I know my wires are clean that way. And anytime I'm working with thermostat wire, it could possibly be live or have 24 to avoid blowing a transformer. I always like to keep my blue one bent away from the rest. We're going to keep our blue separated and we're going to strip it last. We're going to strip it last, but we're going to hook it up first to avoid any touching. Tight is tight enough. Now, we're going to take a few hand tools, a transformer, Phillips common quarter, and a meter. Ah, and, let's see, is there any, there is. Make sure we got a 3 and 5 amp fuse, in case it's just the fuse and not the transformer. Mm. 
We got a York furnace here. You got some flashes. One, two. Looks like a two, 24. Secondary voltage fuse is open. Nice. So that, that tells us it is just the fuse and not actually the transformer. So it means we're going to have to give these boys a well deserved discount because I just quoted them a price to replace the transformer and fix those wires because I had assumed it was the transformer knew that if we're lucky it'd just be this fuse and it looks like they lucked out because bam fuse is blown so I'm going to turn the power off take this fuse out right there yep She's no good. So, we brought some more here, right in our CLC bag. That's why I like this brand. There it is. Bam. So when we come out of these attics and we put these attic covers back into place, we try to use our knuckles, if possible, to lower it back in place because your fingers are typically dirty and all they have fingerprints. So your knuckles are safer for the homeowners. Attic access. 15 amps. So, good news, electrically we're okay at this point, it's removing heat, but uh, get our gauges and check it real quick. <laughs> 